Is it a bad idea to retire early? Is it unethical? In the discussion of financial independence and early retirement, a lot of people seem to get hung up on the term early retirement. And I think it's actually the word retirement that causes the real confusion. This is not entirely surprising because by definition, retirement might imply that you are ceasing all work or activity. But if we look up the word retirement, there's a few definitions. Withdrawal from one's occupation or position, especially upon reaching a certain age. The age at which one withdraws from work or activity. Or the act of retiring or the state of being retired. I think when you talk about early retirement, people immediately jump to that second definition, the age at which one withdraws from work or activity. But in the fire, financial independence, retire early, community, when we say retire early, we do mean withdraw from one's occupation or position, but it's in service of moving on to the next exciting phase of life. The FI, financial independence part, gives us options in life. The RE, retire early part, is exercising those options in life. It's not about retiring from life, it's about retiring from a less than fulfilling job. I don't think anyone is out there working hard to retire in their 30s or 40s so they can do nothing. Those that are driven enough to pull off this fire thing are not the type to hang it up and take it easy for the next few decades. They won't end up on the sofa in front of a Netflix queue, at least not for long. This is not your father's or grandfather's retirement. This is about taking back control of your life and giving yourself options, including the option of walking away from traditional employment and walking toward something better. Not to pick on one of my viewers, but just as an interesting example, I received this comment recently encouraging me not to retire. You should not retire at 45, in my opinion. Doing so would be a disservice to you and everyone that invested in you to get to this point. You are likely at the cusp of entering into the peak earnings, value contribution, and work lifestyle balance years of your career. Further, if your profession, trade, vocation, what have you, has positioned you to be able to retire at 45, you have an implied ethical obligation to pass your knowledge and expertise onto the next generation so that they can realize the benefits you have and progress upon what you did. Don't retire at 45. Retire much better off around 55. My thoughts, anyway. To be clear, I strongly disagree with this viewer's opinion, but I also kind of get where they're coming from. However, there are a few built-in assumptions in this comment that I want to address. Stay with me here because this might get deep. First of all, I'm 46 years old now, so I already missed the boat on the whole retire at 45 thing but I'm still on track and do expect to retire at age 46. Am I moving the goalposts? Maybe, but that's a topic for another time. Back to this viewer's comment. They said that retiring at 45, 46 would be a disservice to you and everyone that invested in you to get to this point. Well, I think that assumes a couple of things. One, that my career is very fulfilling, and two, everyone in my life has been training and guiding and preparing me to kick ass and be fulfilled in my current career. But my job, my career, does not define me. It's something I fell into to make money. I can tolerate it. It's not like working on my feet all day or doing manual labor or working face to face with the public, God forbid. There are parts of the job I like and parts I don't like. And overall, it's not a bad way to make money and it checks that career box. In this life, we don't owe anyone anything, except maybe our families. We're born into this world, not by our choosing, but we are given this gift of life, and there's no obligation to spend most of our lives grinding it out in a career that we may or may not enjoy. If there is any obligation, it's to become self-actualized, happy, and fulfilled as best we can. That's what the people who invested in us along the way want for us. And if that's not what they want for us, then they're not actually interested in our well-being. If anything, the people who invested in me along the way would be disheartened that after all that, I slaved away at this career for 30 to 40 years. And you might say, well, if it's an unfulfilling career, why not pivot to something else? And that's a pretty good idea, assuming you wanna spend your time pursuing a career at all. Not everyone is career driven. In fact, one of the issues I've had ever since high school is that I had no idea what I wanted to do for a career. 
how can you know that you want to do a specific job or career if you can't even see it? If you don't know anyone who does it, if you don't know what that job is like on a day-to-day basis. Some jobs we understand because we can see them or easily imagine what they're like. Doctor, firefighter, police officer, architect. But most people's jobs are completely unknown, especially because technology and the world is changing so fast. Maybe that job you have now didn't even exist 10 or 20 years ago. I find that for most people, they just kind of fall into their careers. One thing leads to another, an opportunity knocks and they answer the door, and it's usually not something that's planned out and plotted ahead of time. And so there they are, 10, 20, 30, even 40 years later, 40 hours per week, year after year, devoted to something they never really cared about in the first place. To me, that's a problem. That's a mistake. All right, back to the comment. It also says that I am likely at the cusp of entering into the peak earnings, value contribution, and work lifestyle balance years of my career. Well, this is true. I've got some pretty good work-life balance because I work from home most of the time. I'm entering peak earnings. It does tend to go up over time, not as fast as I'd like, but the trajectory has been slowly but surely up. But what you're talking about here is basically golden handcuffs where the money is too good to walk away. And more money is always nice, but at some point, if you're on the fire plan, if you're on that path, you have to recognize when you have enough and you have to start to value your time more than additional money at some point. And for me, I'm not walking away from some six figure salary here. If I walked away from my job, took a little sabbatical, I could perhaps get paid even more when I return to the job market later on. It wouldn't take much to get me back into the ballpark of my current earnings, or at least to easily cover my expenses. All right, back to the comment. Further, if your profession, trade, vocation, what have you, has positioned you to be able to retire at 45, you have an implied ethical obligation to pass your knowledge and expertise on to the next generation so that they can realize the benefits you have and progress upon what you did. Wow. The thing is, my job is not that highfalutin. When I leave, I'll pass down my knowledge and expertise by providing ample notice ahead of time to my employer that I'm leaving, and I'll do some training, provide documentation to the next person to take on my duties. Maybe they'll end up backfilling my position, or maybe they'll parse my duties out to multiple employees. But I'm not irreplaceable in my job by any means. I think that someone younger and more enthusiastic than me can get in there and take things to the next level. I'll be making room for someone else to grow in their career, and the next generation will be just fine. If they want my advice, I'll be spouting off to anyone who will listen here on YouTube. Back to the comment. Don't retire at 45, retire much better off around 55. My thoughts anyway. That seems like a reasonable plan. 55 is still early retirement, gives you an extra 10 years of retirement than the standard retirement age of 65. Plus, definitely if I retired at 55, I would be better off financially. And I can see how 45, 46 years old might seem too early, especially if you're thinking of a traditional retirement but I'm not talking about a traditional retirement or even retiring slightly early while I've got some pep in my step. I'm talking about taking back control of my life as soon as possible so that I can kick ass and improve myself and improve the world around me for the next 40 years. Because let me get this straight here. You think I should work another 10 years before I retire. Roughly 17,000 more hours of my life should be spent working and dedicating my limited time with this one life that I've been given to someone else's mission and executing on their ideas. That's a line of thinking that I just can't understand. Unless I'm in complete control, I'm the boss, I'm the owner, unless it's my thing, then it's dedicating 10 more years of my life to someone else's thing. There's got to be a better way to spend all that time. Because I think that unless it's actually your thing that you're working on, unless it's your vision and your dream, your Warren Buffett running Berkshire Hathaway, if that's not you, then that time suck that you call a career is just a job. And my vision is to trade in my job for my work. What do I mean by this? Well, when I retire, I'm not doing so to hang out and watch TV or play golf or sleep in late. I'm retiring to focus on my real work, 
I'm not interested in being lazy. I'm interested in continued self-improvement, self-actualization, and improving the world around me. This is the real work that I want to do, but I don't have as much time as I'd like to work on that stuff right now because I have a job. My job is getting in the way of my work. And so by retiring as soon as possible, I will trade in my job for my work. My work is working out, optimizing my health, spending time with my kid, playing guitar, cooking, see also health, walking or biking to run errands, relationships, traveling, volunteering, coaching, and yes, making YouTube videos. If your job is your work, if that's the way you want to spend your time, more power to you. You don't have to retire early, even after you reach financial independence. But as for me, I'm going to exercise that option and retire as early as possible. After all, I've got work to do. All right, that's what I've got for this one. Comment, like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.